All right, good morning, guys. Long time no see. This is Doug, and I'm here in New York City, United States of America. However, I'm not here for long because right now I am headed to the airport. It's a little bit after 6 a.m. A little bit loud, but yeah, I'm heading to the airport and I'm flying to Sri Lanka and I'm taking you guys along for the journey. So I'm just waiting for my taxi right now. Normally, I would totally recommend taking uh, the subway to the airport in New York because it is insanely expensive to take a taxi. However, I'm running late and I really don't want to miss my flights all the way to Sri Lanka. I've got a flight to Doha, Qatar, and then one to Sri Lanka. Let's hit it. Yes, sir. All right, guys, we are here at JFK, John F. Kennedy Airport, one of the three main airports in New York City, and we're at Terminal 8, which seems like it's mostly American Airlines, but there's also Qatar. So I need to find the check-in, I'm going to get checked in, and then I'll catch up with you soon. And I found it. Nice long line. Alrighty guys, I am through security. I've got about 35 minutes until boarding. So it's gonna be about a 12 and a half hour flight, I believe, and I'm flying economy class. But I did pay a little extra for extra legroom because I'm six foot two and it really is worth it for me. Let's go check out the gates. Got a rainy morning here at JFK, New York City. This feels like a pretty small, low key terminal feels like a domestic terminal. All right, and it looks like our plane isn't even at the gate yet, but I think that is probably it there in the distance behind the American Airlines plane. All carry on and check luggage is subject to search. All right, 25 minutes till boarding. It is time to find more coffee. I woke up at 5.30 this morning, and uh, yeah, that's the main priority right now. Hey there, how you doing? Good, thanks. Could I have a bacon, egg, and cheese on a bagel, please? Bacon, egg, and cheese on a bagel and a small iced coffee with milk? Yes. Anything please. else? That's all. Okay, it'll be 1239. Mm. Alrighty, guys, it is time for the last New York bacon, egg, and cheese. And then we are off to Sri Lanka. By the way, I'm going to have an entire series from Sri Lanka coming up soon, so if you're not already subscribed to the channel, get subscribed now so you don't miss it. Alrighty guys, so this is a Boeing 777-200, so pretty big plane, and uh, it is just about time to start boarding. Hi, good morning. Thank you. Alright, I wish I was here. Alrighty guys, I have made it to Doha. I'm in Hamad International Airport. Got a lot of attention about a month ago for the World Cup. However, I think it's a little more calm now. Still super busy. But uh, yeah, that was a long flight. I'm extremely tired because in New York right now it's after 10 p.m. and I got up at 5 a.m. Here it's a little after 6 a.m. So I'm kind of turned around right now with my internal clock. I had one of those moments on the plane where <laughs> we were flying over the edge of Syria. And I'm just like, how did I wake up 
in Manhattan, in New York City this morning, and now I'm flying over Syria and Saudi Arabia. I don't know, maybe that's just what flying is, and you're like, yeah, that's, that's what a flight is, but <laughs> I still get those moments, and I fly a lot. Anyway, I'm gonna walk around the airport a little bit. I am super tired, but I think I'll probably try to sleep on the next flight, and then again when I get there, once it's actually nighttime, this airport is super big, lots to see if you just walk around. I'm in the main concourse right now with the big bear statue, kind of uh, iconic for this airport. But yeah, that's about it. I'll catch up with you soon. All right guys, change of plans. So, I'm so tired, I can barely think. I came to a sleeping pod and I'm being very quiet because there are some people around me in different pods. But uh, this is what it is. It's basically like, a bed and there's some controls here so you can move the bed up and down I'm gonna put it flat and uh, yeah you can control the temperature and the fan and stuff and I think you can even plug in HDMI and use the TV and stuff um, but anyway I am boarding in about uh, an hour and a half so I'm going to try to get an hour or so of sleep and then, then we continue to Sri Lanka. Now I just need to figure out how to turn the lights off. I don't know how. Oh, okay, it's this weird pink stick. I think it's supposed to have a, a dial on it. Okay. Good night guys, I'll see you in like an hour. <laughs> All right, guys, we are back on the move to the gate in the sea concourse, which is very, very, very long. Unfortunately, I did not sleep at all in my little visit to the pod. I don't know why. Who knows? Couldn't sleep. So I guess I'll try on the plane. I am very, very ready to get there and to go to a hotel and have a real bed. So onward. Okay guys, so I have to go board soon, but I just came to this area that someone on Instagram actually told me about. This is a new section of the Doha airport, and it's like a garden area with a skylight. You can see it's, it's now 8.30 in the morning, so it's light out. And this has got to be the coolest terminal section I've seen in any airport ever. I, I'm pretty sure all of these plants here are real. There's like a gardener right there. You can see him behind the pole right there, like tending to the plants. So this is like a little mini jungle right in the airport. So cool. And all around it, of course, you got Fendi, you got Bulgari, Burberry, Gucci, Montclair, and a huge LV store. My goodness, the Gulf is just insane. Qatar, Emirates. Saudi Arabia. They just continue to blow my mind. <laughs> it's insane. I wish I could spend more time exploring that section, but my plane is already boarding, so we gotta go. Alrighty guys, here we are. It is almost go time. guys, I have made it out and I made it to Sri Lanka. So I've just landed in Colombo, the capital. Slept that whole flight, which I'm very happy about. Still pretty much asleep, but I need to find my suitcase and then find the desk of the Sri Lanka tourism board because I'm going to be working with them for the next week showing you guys the best things to see in Sri Lanka. I'm gonna be working with them for a week and then I'm gonna be traveling independently for one more week. And I've got a special guest who's gonna be visiting Sri Lanka with me. She's arriving tomorrow, but you'll have to watch the next video to find out who that is. Alrighty, I was so excited to go to sleep that I almost forgot to end the video. Anyway, I have made it to my hotel and we've got a lot more coming from Sri Lanka. This was just a little look at the very, very long journey all the way from New York City to Colombo here in the capital 
of Sri Lanka. We've got a lot more coming starting tomorrow when my special guest arrives. She gets here tomorrow. Get excited. But other than that, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.